What's the best way to defeat Orcish Bowmasters in CDH? Find out on today's episode. Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have our Mox Pearl patron Sean, piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Dargo the Shipwrecker. This deck seeks to grind advantage with Thrasios before executing a combo with Dargo or other common team or win cons. Sean's opening hand contains a Birds of Paradise, Springleaf Drum, Court of Calling, Fierce Guardian Chip, the One Ring, Breeding Pool, and an Arid Mesa. Next, we have Ryan, piloting the partner pair of Timna the Weaver and Jessica Thrice Reborn. This deck seeks to cast Ad Nauseam as fast as possible or grind advantage with its commanders. Ryan's opening hand contains an Esper Sentinel, Ranger Captain Abios, Diabolic Intent, Orcish Bowmasters, Plateau, Cavern of Souls, and a City of Brass. After that we have Mike, piloting Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. This deck seeks to use its commander to ramp into big mana and cheat huge threats onto the battlefield. Mike's opening hand contains a Snow-Covered Forest, Scalding Tarn, Fine Horn Elves, Green Sun Zenith, and his London Mulligans are Swansong, Mystical Tutor, and a Mental Misstep. Finally, we have Zeb, piloting Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff. This deck seeks to cast its commander, generate lots of mana, and then use it to execute a graveyard-based combo. Zeb's opening hand contains a Vault of Champions, Kambal, Consult of Allocation, Takanuma Abandoned Mire, Silent Clearing, and his London Mulligans are Draneth Magistrate, Lion's Eye Diamond, and Azulaport Cutthroat. Without further ado, let's kick off this liminal linguistic listless legacy. Sean watched the most episodes of Paw Patrol and gets to start us off. Sean draws a card for turn and plays an Arid Mesa. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Taiga onto the battlefield. He casts a Birds of Paradise and passes the turn. Ryan draws and plays a Cavern of Souls, naming Human as it enters. He casts Esper Sentinel and passes to Mike. Mike draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts Finehorn Elves and ships the turn. Zeb draws, plays a Vault of Champions, and passes. Sean draws and plays a Breeding Pool into play untapped, paying two life. He casts his commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. He casts Springleaf Drum. Esper triggers and Ryan draws. Sean passes. Ryan draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He moves to combat and attacks Zeb with Esper Sentinel. Zeb takes it and Ryan ships the turn. Mike draws and plays a Snow-Covered Forest. He casts his commander, Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. In response, Sean casts Red Elemental Blast, targeting Kinnon. Esper triggers and Ryan draws. Kinnon is countered and Mike casts a Lotus Petal, paying for Esper. Plants disrupted, Mike passes. Zeb draws and plays a Takanuma, Abandoned Mire as his land for turn. He casts his commander, Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff. Zeb gives the turn to Sean. Sean draws and casts the One Ring. Esper triggers and Ryan draws. The One Ring enters and Sean gains protection from everything. Sean activates the One Ring. In response, Ryan flashes in an Orcish Bowmasters. It enters, kills Lotho, and Ryan amasses Orcs 1. Then Sean adds a Burden Counter and draws a card. Bowmasters triggers, Ryan kills Birds of Paradise and amasses 1 again. Sean plays a Rejuvenating Springs and passes to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays a Plateau. He moves to combat and attacks Zeb with his creatures. Zeb takes it and Ryan passes, discarding to hand size. Mike draws and casts Fabricate. Esper triggers and Ryan draws. Then Mike fetches up a Mana Crypt into his hand. He casts Mana Crypt. He plays an Ottawara Soaring City as his land for turn. Mike ends his turn. Zeb draws and plays a Silent Clearing. Zeb passes. During his upkeep, Sean loses a life to the One Ring. He draws and casts Phantasmal Image. It enters as a copy of Orcish Bowmasters. Bowmasters enters, kills Ryan's Bowmasters, and Sean amasses one. He activates the One Ring, adding a counter and drawing two cards. He plays a Bloodstained Mire for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Rhystic Study. Esper triggers, Ryan draws, Bowmasters triggers, Sean kills Esper Sentinel, and then amasses one. In response, Ryan flashes in a Cathar Commando. Commando resolves, and with Rhystic still on the stack, Ryan casts Vampiric Tutor. In response, Sean casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, countering Tutor. Then Rhystic resolves, and Sean passes to Ryan. During Ryan's upkeep, Zeb casts Silence, paying the Rhystic tax, locking out opponents from spells this turn. Ryan draws, plays an Ancient Tomb, and then moves to combat. He attacks Zeb with his creatures. Zeb takes five, and Ryan passes the turn. 
During his upkeep, Mike wins his Mana Crypt flip. He draws and plays a Prismatic Vista. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an island onto the battlefield. He recasts his commander, Kinnon, Fonder Prodigy. Ristic triggers and Sean draws. In response, Ryan activates Cathar Commando, sacrificing it, destroying Ristic's study. Then Kinnon resolves and Mike passes to Zeb. Zeb draws and taps the Silent Clearing to help cast Smuggler's Share. Zeb ends his turn. During his upkeep, Sean loses two life to the One Ring. He draws and activates the One Ring. In response, Mike activates Kinnon. He looks at the top five, failing to find. Then Sean adds a counter and draws three cards. He plays a Scalding Tarn for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a tropical island onto the battlefield. He casts a Seedborn Muse. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with his Orc army. Ryan takes two, and Sean gives a turn to Ryan. At the end of Sean's turn, Smuggler's Share triggers, Zeb draws, and then creates a treasure. Bowmaster's triggers, Sean kills Finehorn Elves, and amasses one. The turn moves to Ryan. Sean untaps with Ryan through Seedborn. Ryan draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He casts Dragon's Rage Chandler. He taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast the One Ring. Chandler triggers and Ryan surveils a Twin Flame into his graveyard. In response, Sean activates the One Ring, adding a counter and drawing four cards. He casts an Offer You Can't Refuse. The One Ring is countered and Ryan creates two treasures. Next, Ryan cracks his Arid Mesa, pays a life, and fetches up a Badlands onto the battlefield. He casts Ranger Captain of Eos. In response, Sean activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Life's Legacy into his hand. Then Ranger Captain enters, and Ryan fetches up a Ragavan Nimble Pilferer into his hand. Ryan passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, Smuggler's Share triggers, Zeb draws a card, and creates a treasure. Bowmaster's triggers, Sean pings Ryan for one, and amasses one. The turn moves to Mike. Sean untaps with Mike through Seedborn. During his upkeep, Mike loses his Mana Crypt flip and takes three damage. He draws, does nothing, and passes. At the end of Mike's turn, Sean activates the One Ring. In response, Mike activates Kennen, looking at the top five, putting Phyrexian Metamorph onto the battlefield. Metamorph enters as a copy of Seedborn Muse. Then Sean adds a counter to the One Ring and draws five. Still in the end step, Sean channels Ottawara, Soaring City, bouncing Seaboard Muse back to Mike's hand. The turn moves to Zeb. Zeb draws and plays an Ancient Tomb. He casts a Mana Crypt. He recasts his commander, Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff. Zeb passes. At the end of Zeb's turn, Sean activates the One Ring. He holds priority and pays two life to cast Noxious Revival, targeting Ottawara, Soaring City, in his graveyard. In response, Zeb casts Demonic Consultation. Consul resolves, Zeb names Orcish Bowmasters, he exiles the top six, and then exiles until he finds Orcish Bowmasters, putting it into his hand. He taps his Ancient Doom to help flash in Orcish Bowmasters. Bowmasters resolves, and Zeb targets Sean's Bowmasters. Phantasmal Image triggers, and Sean sacrifices it. Then the Bowmasters' ability fizzles. Then Sean puts Ottawara onto the top of his library. Then Sean adds a counter to the One Ring and draws six cards. Zeb's Orcish Bowmasters triggers six times, targeting Seaborn Muse and Sean directly. In response, Sean activates Springleaf Drum, tapping Seedborn and adding a blue. Then Zeb kills Seedborn, ping Sean for two, then amasses Orc six. Still in the end step, Sean channels Ottawara, targeting Ryan's Ranger Captain. In response, to dig for an answer, Zeb activates Silent Clearing, sacrificing it, drawing a card. With no other answers, Ranger Captain is bounced, and the turn moves to Sean. During his upkeep, Sean loses six life to the One Ring. He draws and pays two life to cast Phyrexian Metamorph. It enters, as a copy, of Orcish Bowmasters. Bowmasters enters, kills Zeb's Bowmasters, and Sean amasses one. He activates the One Ring, adding a counter, and drawing seven cards. He plays a Command Tower for turn. He exiles Simeon's Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a red. He casts a Soul Ring. Lotho triggers, Zeb loses a life and creates a treasure. Sean casts a Mox Opal. He casts a Mox Amber. He casts a Mox Diamond, discarding Stomping Ground. He casts a Lotus Petal. He casts a Tide Spout Tyrant. He casts a Chrome Mox. Tide Spout Tyrant triggers, and Sean bounces Mox Opal to his hand. Crow Mox resolves and Sean imprints Finehorn Elves. Sean recasts Mox Opal. Tide Spout triggers and Sean bounces Mox Amber. Sean floats a mana, then recasts Mox Amber. Sean presents a loop of repeatedly bouncing and recasting Mox Opal and Mox Amber, floating mana each time, generating infinite mana. He activates Thrasios, drawing his library and putting all lands onto the battlefield tapped. He casts all of the creatures in his deck. He casts Finale of Devastation, where X equals, well, at least more than 10, pumping his creatures and giving them haste. He moves to combat, swings with everything, and Sean wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fun game. Congrats to Sean on his win. He was able to steamroll the table with all of the advantage that his deck could generate. The table couldn't fight back against the onslaught and Sean was able to close it out in short fashion. The most viable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to the One Ring. We definitely consider giving it to Orcish Bowmasters. However, this card drew Sean so many cards over the course of the game. This, combined with Seaborn Muse, allowed Sean to bury his opponents in advantage in just one table rotation. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time and we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.